It is Friday morning, April 28th. We're in the Best Western Hotel. You're about to see some B-roll of the room they gave us originally. It was shit, construction in it, pretty poor, not gonna lie. But we go through it, we had travel issues. We got delayed in Denver, they get in until about 3 a.m. last night, got to bed at four, it's now 10.30 a.m. And why are we here? We're in Orlando, cause I am here to check out houses with the beautiful Mary behind us. We're gonna do Furnish Finder, which is furnished houses or apartments move in that are empty and we'll find apartments. As y'all know, I'm getting to school here for sports casting, so we're checking out places. So you're gonna see what it's like to check out places, try to move across the country, and we're going to go to Universal Studios, so you'll see us have some fun. So it's gonna be a big weekend, day in the life, trying to move, sports casting, chase the dream. Let's kick it off and show you what it's like. We'll give you insight. We'll go to different houses. We'll let you pick what you think is the best. We'll show you everything around and have a good time. Let's get it. Okay, y'all, we're at option one, Summerlin at Winter Park. We're looking at two bedroom condos. This is a part of the website that they gave us of apartments to look at around the campus. So we're gonna be doing these where we'll have to move our stuff in and then furnish finder where it's fully furnished apartment or homes. So first one, Summerlin, let's take a look. She's excited, I'm excited. Start of the future, let's get it. Apartment one done, Summerlin. Mary and I review that thoughts. She gave it a seven out of 10. I gave it a five. Some pros and cons, you could do washer dryer in the unit, outside the unit. It's pretty nice inside two bedroom. They do have one fully furnished, which for us being from California would be a bit easier. However, this is option one of like seven to eight we're working at this weekend, so not making any commitments, but it's a nice start. One bad part is it's like 1.5 miles away from school, so we wouldn't be able to probably walk there. It's 1.5, I feel like it's more now. I think it's 1.5. Okay. So anyways, it was a good showing, good baseline to understand where we're going. Now we're off to number two, which is a furnished house by a nice lady who said we could rent a room and have a whole house. So we're gonna go check that out and see some differences. It's also much closer to school. So let's go enjoy. It's 51. We are pulling up to the next Place. You can see it's a proper neighborhood, a bunch of homes, good trees. Number two, here we are. We may get it. Alexa, <laughs> turn on the kitchen chandelier. Okay. That's so it's cool. Okay. Okay, we're done with number two. I like it a lot. You guys saw it. it's a home. It's not some apartment. It's fully furnished. All in, you know, as a student going back to school, having everything. Hi, Mary. Hi. I was looking at the camera. Having everything ready to go uh, will be very convenient. It's about half a mile from the campus, so I could walk there, take a bicycle, makes my life easier. Since Mary's not coming until the fall, this will also help me get the lay of the land and we can decide about a more permanent location. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with this. Angie is really nice as well. She's so sweet. So sweet. She made me coffee. She made Mary coffee. Co Mary's in From love. From like a local coffee yeah. shop, she's her. Go check out Barney's coffee shop if you're around here. So I think it's a pretty, pretty good opportunity here. We have obviously more to check out, which we're gonna go through the rest of the weekend. 
but and it looks like she really wants to rent out two bedrooms not yeah, just one not two so that's the pitfall good thank you mary is she's got she's a uh has four kids they're all gone she got this big house now trying to generate some more income for herself so she's trying to rent two ba bedrooms for 1800 each if we did both of them it would be 3,000 for two, but we don't need two bedrooms. Honestly, you got a big house. I don't need a second bedroom for a desk. So it would be 18, so someone else may come. So we'll talk about that. All in all, pretty happy. Here we are, number one of four. We get it. Okay, number two is done, the central place. Who do you think, Mary? I actually really like this spot. Um, much better than the Summerlin, the one that we that we saw yesterday. This is even closer to full sale. Uh, the gym is nicer. Big Seems pool. like big pool, they have two big pools. Seems like a just like a there's like a better feeling here than the one from yesterday. I agree. Spacious inside. Mm -hmm. Comes out to maybe 2K a month for rent after everything all after in. After everything, which is not bad. That's pretty amazing. So maybe it does make sense to move here. I mean, we saw the one room yesterday in the house. Does it make sense to go there or come here? Probably makes sense to come here when Mary moves here and have the room for the summer still. So we got more to show. Glad we did it. One team, one dream. Three more to go. Three more and more. To get it. Option two today. Alta Vista, which is literally right next to where we just came from. Central place. Central place. So easy peasy. We're going to see if we can go early, uh, 45 minutes before we're supposed to see it. What are your initial thoughts, Mary? Um, I like the general look of it better. Uh, let's see how it is inside. And it's a gated community too. You know, well to do. Let's get it. Breaking news, we got developments here for y'all. So option three, all Vista. What do you think, Mary? This was my favorite. It was really cool. You just saw all the amenities, the the outdoor facilities, the, the track, the pool, the volleyball court, the CrossFit. The inside was nice, really good vibe here. So what's the breaking news, Mary? We did not sign yet, so it's not breaking as we signed. I'm like, what is the breaking? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, not quite sure. We said we had four tours today. We canceled the other two. Oh, yeah. We know based off of this one and the one before that it's going to be one of these two. They're close, walking distance, biking distance. School other ones are farther away. At yeah. least you get me the car or something. And these are two good spots. So we got the fur and this finder from yesterday. They have room that made me for the summer. The one that we saw yesterday, Summerlin, we're gonna cross it off the list. So this could be one of these two from today. And then tomorrow we look at a furnished finder, two bedroom apartment that is really close as well. That would be walking to the school, so maybe there, but we're making progress. Now we get to- Eat some lunch. Eat some lunch, maybe take a boat tour. We'll see what it's like to live in Winter Park round two with my baby.
Okay, Mary, what are your thoughts? Um, I thought in the pictures it would it looked different. It looked kind of different. Oh, uh, but I mean, it's a furnished place. It's cute. It's your own spot compared to this one and Angie's. This would be a good spot for the both of us. I don't know. Turn it around to me. Oh, I was like, what? Mary just did it. <laughs> So it's cool. It's very spacious. It's probably spacious of all the places. It's really furnished, so you don't have to worry about the apartment. It could be like 2800 all in, which isn't bad. When you look at the other places that were from yesterday that um, where the apartment building is not fully furnished, those are like probably 24, 2500 all in potentially. Could go more. So does it make sense to spend that a couple of hundred more? Have this. It's also literally full sale right there across behind that building. It's walking distance. That makes it really easy. So this is probably an option for September. We'll look at the other ones for September as well. But I think we're gonna go with Angie's place for myself in June. Have the room, have a full house to myself, get myself situated, and then uh, that one's eighteen hundred, so it's just cheaper for me. I may have a roommate there. We'll also be living with Angie, who's great, but won't be by my baby. That will be coming soon. So we saw the houses, we saw Full Sail University there. Let's go check out the Warriors. Woo! Feedy! Curry! Game 7! Let go! It over! Congrats to the Kings! You had a good season. I'm sorry, Mary. Young and experienced, but the Warriors take it through! Harvard champion, like I said, let's get it! Woo! See you in the SF, Lakers. Okay, y'all, we're in my backyard in San Diego. It's been two weeks since we were in Florida. I'm gonna miss this place so much. Wanted to give you an update on where Mary and I chose to live. Thank you for watching the video. Again, comment your thoughts on where you think is best or what you just think is the best interior, whatever it may be. We chose, drum roll please, the options are right there so you can see again. Initially, I'm going to live at option two, which is the furnished house, rent a room in the house. Since I will be there for three months by myself, it's close to campus, it has all the amenities, everything's included, and it just makes the most sense for me to get my bearings there and not have to buy a bunch of furniture and whatnot. So when Mary comes out in September, our goal will be to move into an apartment, either option three or four, which is Central Place or Alta Vista. We think all Vista is probably the best, so we're gonna go there. We like the amenities that they have there, different things for the gym. The inside the interior department is really nice. It has a cool pool complex, and again, it's close to campus. So to recap, get to take the single room to myself to start, and then probably go to all Vista. Is that what you picked? Let me know your thoughts. Again, thanks for watching. It means so much to me to have you here with me. Please subscribe. You'll get weekly vlog videos around my life in Orlando, Florida. Went to Park, Florida. Living the dream, chasing my dream, following my dream of sports casting. So you'll see what it's like to go back to school, chase that dream, what it takes to become a sports caster. And of course, it's fun vlog videos, sports content I've been putting out. Peace.